you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. We've got John Kineski here, and if you, a lot of you probably know him already, but you play guitar with Tenacious D. Yep, that's right. right? And a bunch of other things. I don't want to sell you short on that. <laughs> yeah. People have requested Master Exploder every day, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to get you to just maybe show some of the licks. So yeah. the other thing I was going to say is, You've got a, kind of a new online project that, that you're ramping up, Guitar Rings. Yeah, right? guitar, guitar Rings, yeah, show with Kyle from the D, and we're going to show you a bunch of D stuff on that show and how to play it. So here we'll, we'll work out a couple of the, the licks for uh, Master Exploder here to kind of wet the, wet the whistle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and also, you know, I want to thank you for having me on Guitar Rings. That's kind of how oh, we yeah. got to meet each other. So we do have kind of, we did film a special Master Exploder kind of, Sequence. Yeah, so that's true. so all you guys got to do is just check the link below. It's coming out soon. It's coming yeah, soon. Yeah, it'll right? come soon. Yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah, you know sure. there's going to be a whole new thing that you guys are going to launch. Yeah. But but there is a, a cool master exploder thing there. Yeah. And I actually teach the main riff on that too. Oh, cool. So hopefully Great. that will that will show up or. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wanna, do you remember? Oh, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, cool. I did yeah. teach the riff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You did teach the room. I do recall. A lot that. happened yes. that day. Yeah. It was a long day. <laughs> it was a long day, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I remember you were saying before the solo from that song is like a bunch of overdubs. Well, solos. yeah. It's, you, no one guitar player could ever play it at once. Well, it's unless, you, unless you unless you had to pick a destiny in the extra Yeah, arms. right. Exactly. <laughs> Multiple solos? Yeah, so it's overdubbing. It's something you do in the studio, obviously. Um, any, uh, you, you, there's a solo, and then they put you on a different track, and you solo over your solo. Isn't that cheating, yeah. man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, yeah, that's why, that's why, why we do it. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it opens with a it's, a, it's a hybrid picking thing, which is a, at least I play it that way. You don't necessarily have to. That's when you pick the note with the pick. Use one of your other fingers to grab that high E. So it's this classico bend of, you know, the 14th fret, E, box pattern, pentatonic, pretty much the whole solo. All the solos are in that. So, well, so that that's the lick. So it'll be like you know, uh, uh, based on that. It's like so uh, yeah, just a bend on the fourteenth fret. Hit your twelfth fret on the E. Another 14th fret back. Pull off to the 12. 14 on the 4th string. End on a bend. And that's it. Sure, there's um. So after this, there goes it goes up to a kind of a higher thing, uh, and then it, it does this kind of theme that's repeated later in the the song as well. That's then layered in harmony, but uh, it goes up and does this thing. And it's a little back pedaler kind of finger twister thing. And uh, it's just uh, 15th fret, 17th fret. Pull it off. Down to the 17th fret on the second string. Then you gotta backtrack over to that 17th. So. I'll go real slow. Nice. Yeah, if you did that in the major form, it's like sticky bats from the Allman Brothers. Like in a, as a G like, major pentatonic. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. He does that one a lot. Uh, and like, <laughs> um, sweet. And then what? Do you go even higher? Uh, Is it even possible? I I don't recall if it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is how it would be, uh, you know, used in, in that song context. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. That yeah. was great, man. And then the the final one in that first run of solos is. Uh, let me see. I gotta go into it. Okay, yeah. yeah so there it yeah, goes. Yeah, that's that's the right, yeah. the root band. So. 
Drop dives down to eat it. So this is just uh, it's it's you know fairly simple. It's just a 15th fret bend here up to the E, and then yeah. you're melting the camera. <laughs> Cool down, cool down. <laughs> cool it down. Now, how would you um, describe to like a beginner student, like that last lick, right? Yeah. You, know, you broke it down nice and slow, and but it's a fast lick. It, how would yeah. you how do, how do you how do you have a student like learn something like that? Well, what do you have them do? Speed is all about repetition uh, and starting slow. Hold and, on, I'm writing this down. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. So you got to uh, you know play to a metronome, start it slow. You know it's a. You're pulling off that second one. All the other notes are picked. Down stroke, up stroke. So down, up, pull off, down on that last note, which is 15th fret there. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that's an up stroke on the last note. So just start slow and just don't worry about going fast at first. Consistent, slowly build it up. You know, until so your fingers fall off. So together as they would work in the context of a song is something like this, roughly. first part. Dude, so. that was great, man. Thank you. Anyway, I want to thank John Kaneski for teaching some of those tasty licks. Yeah. Thank you very much. And also, you're going to see some cool footage from Guitar Rings in the future. You can just check the link below. And I, in fact, uh, I did some of the stuff too. So you can check that out in the future. And uh, thanks a lot, dude. Oh, thank you. All right. Good times.